wakes up every day and I can still talk to him. An outpouring of support for Sam. Tonight, family, friends, and strangers turn out to help the family of wounded soldier Sergeant Sam Shockley. Good evening. Shockley, a Ross High School graduate, recovers at Walter Reed Medical Center after stepping on an IED in Afghanistan back in March. He lost both legs and three fingers. Tonight, a very special benefit is being held in his honor. Nine on your side's Amy Wattis is live in the studio with how hundreds are helping. Amy? Julie, tonight's turnout was incredible. Eli's Sports Bar in Fairfield was at capacity all to support a soldier many people didn't even know. Very proud. He's a hero. 25-year-old Staff Sergeant Sam Shockley is getting lots of love and support from his two sisters. It's been almost two weeks since Shockley lost both of his legs and three fingers from a roadside bomb in Afghanistan. We live in a small community. You can help someone, you help them. Julie Payne was one of the organizers for Saturday's benefit held at Eli's Sports Bar in Fairfield. She says she never met Shockley. If they can go over and do something for us, fight for our country, and for us, we could do something for them. And that's what the community did. Eli's was packed with people. There were lots of raffles, donations, and even the restaurant is using some of its sales to go towards Shockley and his family. It's a lot of emotions. It's great emotions. Uh, it's warming that everybody's come down and supported them. Um, I have friends that came from Eastgate to come here, which is an hour drive, and they wanted to come out and support them. So. Shockley is recovering at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Maryland, and he's doing great. And I thought after that happened, I mean, anybody in their right mind, you think it'd just be miserable. Not saying. Too strong an individual to be that way. It's not as hard as what everybody thinks it is because he's such a strong person. But he still has a long way to go. His family says he'll be spending the next two years recovering at Walter Reed. And Shockley was on his fourth tour of duty in Afghanistan and his second enlistment. Julie? Thank you, Amy, for that report. We sure wish him well. New 